This is the Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Pisces from September 15th to September 22nd, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you this week? Sun. The Lovers. And the Justice. All three major arcana cards. Right off the bat. There's something really big taking place in your connection to someone this week. It's an awakening for them. But I feel it's brought on by... It's like you're separating from them. It's, it's almost that energy where you're trying to divorce your, your energy from theirs. But it's it's bringing this out in them. It's bringing out this realization. On their end, we have two soulmate cards side by side. Let's clarify this person, this sun energy. For them? Or they're both for them. Eight of Cups. And for them again... Now there's a soulmate indicator, twin flame indicator, six of cups. So this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or perhaps a Leo, but it's a lot of water energy for them. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that they may have tried to walk away from this connection first, or they did something to upset this connection in the past. But this week, there's a huge realization. They want to do something with you. But with you, with this justice, it's, it's like you're taking your power back. It's, it's that energy, I feel, where, where you're, you're, you're taking a stance. You're, you're, it's almost like you're distancing yourself from emotion, from some emotional ties or some dependence on this and it's pulling them towards you. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see what they say. First question, what's going on in your love interest's head? Like what's on their mind? Good question. Another major arcana. There's a lot of divine energy in this reading so far. The Hierophant, Six of Wands, another six. And the Seven of Pentacles. It's, this is regarding something that you've done in the past. They feel connected to you through whatever you, you applied yourself to, whatever you put into, into this connection. With the Six of Wands in the middle, I feel they're going to try to get your attention somehow. Like they're, that's what they want. They want this connection. So it's funny. I'm getting the sense of, of a cleanse somehow. Like, like they're trying to cleanse themselves. They're trying to, to like there, there's like that spiritual cleanse, you know, where they're trying to, to be better, to be a winner, to be worthy of your attention. Like from their angle, they, they see that you've already put effort into something and that what you did is about to pay off for you. But the way that they're, they're coming about it is they're working on themselves somehow. They're, they're trying to 
They're trying to be someone worthy of your attention, in a sense. Let's clarify this, the seven of pentacles, like what you did here in the past. For them? Waiting. For you? Success. You may have been waiting years for this person. It's odd. Normally, you know, I look at the Hierophant and I, I automatically feel it's a, it's a connection. Like it's, it's already something that, that is like dating or marriage. But with this, I didn't feel that. I felt different. Th this is for, for you who have been waiting for this love interest. And now you're separating your energy. You're, you're, you feel like you, you did everything you could. But there's success for you this week in terms of this person putting in energy in themselves to try to get you. They know that you waited long enough. Waiting. Hmm. That's going to come up again. What are the new opportunities opening up for you at this time? Seven of Wands. Four of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. You are in your power here. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation. I feel you're both marrying each other somehow. This person wants to get your attention. They, they want to work on themselves to get your attention because they see that you've already worked on yourself. It, the King of Pentacles is that energy of someone who's able to influence other people to get them to do what's needed, what needs to be done. The Seven of Wands. I feel this person is fighting for this connection. They're fighting for this reunion, but I'm just, it's so odd. Like, let's clarify this 11-11 card. For them? Ties. There's that harness on their back. See, you're both mirroring each other. I feel this 11-11 card is both, it's like you're both mirroring each other, but you're, you're in the power. This person has to, for you? Yeah, you're having a conquest. This person has to, what, what are they doing? Yeah, let's clarify, before we continue with the random generated questions, let's clarify the seven of wands. It's, it's like they're going through some sort of cleanse, like they're, it's so hard to describe it. Let's clarify this, this seven of wands. What is this person doing? Like, how are they fighting for this? It's like some form of mirroring. They feel tied to this. So whatever they're, they're fighting for, it's, it's their, they're fighting for this reunion. They're tied emotionally to this connection with you and you're pulling away. You already have a conquest here. You already have the success. Let's get to it. Seven of Wands. What is that? Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. They hurt you. They may have said something to you. Why am I getting... Like, I keep getting this... This feeling of this, it's, it's like a 
cleanse. The Ten of Cups is ultimate forgiveness. It, it's, it's free of judgment. It, it's that type of deep romantic connection. And that's what, where they're coming from. That's what they want. They know that they have to give something to you for some, some sort of hurt that they caused you. I don't feel this was a connection where they cheated on you. Where are they cleansing themselves? Let's clarify. Let's clarify the three of swords. For them, fears. For you, Knowledge. Man, it's like you're, you don't need them anymore. Something like that. Like you found a way to, to carry on without them, without needing their energy. Like you're the king of pentacles. So you are in the power. You have a conquest somehow. You figured out a way to, to not need this connection with this person. And they're scared of losing you. They know that they have to, they have to give you something here. Hmm. What are they gonna give you? Yeah. I'm going to ask a question about this cleanse because I just keep on getting that thing, you know, like that's what really struck me. It's like they're, they're cleansing themselves or something. What is this cleanse this person's going through? Is this person going through a cleanse? The fool. Queen of wands. And the two of wands. They're on a journey to find answers. They see that, that there, there's something that you want from them. And they, they want, they want to impress you with this Queen of Wands energy. Like they're, they're putting, they're almost putting too much emphasis on, on the way they look towards you. Like they want to be so attractive. But they're, they're looking for answers. Let's clarify this, this fool energy. For them, helpfulness. For you, experience. What is going on in this reading? They want to help. They, they, they're looking for answers. They, they, they need help. Because something that worked for them in the past is not working for them this time around. And the Queen of Wands, it, it's someone that, that often uses, it's like an inflated focus on their looks. You, you, you stood your ground to this person somehow. And they want you, they want your attention. They just, they need help in getting it. They're going through some sort of, it could be like a client. They could be trying to lose weight or something. I don't know. But they want to look good for you. In the extended, we'll look into what's going on behind the scenes in this connection that you don't know about. Perfect question. Perfect question. I want to know about this. Weird energy. What surprises lay in store for you this week? And I'll see if there's something going on there in terms of this connection. Maybe there's other surprises. What does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? And I'll ask, what are they planning for the future with you? Perfect questions. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.